Welcome to part eight of setting up the Power Platform Center of Excellence. In this video, we're going to discuss setting up the compliance components. Now, a lot of what we've done up until now has given us the elements that we need, but there are some kind of additional configuration that is required for the compliance components. So one of them is to populate an environment variable, which is the developer compliance center URL. So you can come into your center of excellence environment, locate the core component solution, launch the admin command center app, expand the menu, select setup, search for compliance, locate the developer compliance center URL option and paste in the value. To obtain the value, you'll want to be within, again, we're in our same center of excellence environment. However, this time we're in the governance components solution, which contains the developer Compl compliance center canvas app, which we can go to the details of, obtain the URL, and that's what we've entered in here. Once you've entered the environment variable value, you'll want to save and then possibly also click reset flows to ensure that any flows that make use of these environment variables are going to pick up any of the new values. Whilst we're here, we won't really go through it in any detail. I will paste in the description of this video, the Microsoft documentation, which will go into more detail around what the default values are for the other compliance related environment variables. But I just wanted to call out that there are several amongst which are things like if the app was launched at least this many times and for example i believe the default value for that one is 20 or 30 even so moving on we've got that environment variable populated in in essence the purpose of this is to allow us to gain a greater visibility of what makers are basically making out there, be that flows, chatbots, power apps. And it allows us to kind of look at the usage patterns and then we can do things such as request of that maker justification for the purpose of that app, a support plan, data classification. You may see that all oh, this app is, is used heavily it's worthwhile, we might want to move into a dedicated environment, that sort of thing. So we've got our makers making stuff, which is good. We've got visibility of it. However, there will be certain environments that you probably want to exclude from this as you're quite happy with how they're managed or let's take, for example, the center of excellence itself. So there is a way of excluding or the way Microsoft have phrased it, excusing. Um, so to do that, you would come into your core component solution, locate the Power Platform ad, Admin View model driven app, which we're in here. In the navigation, you'll want to be in, on environments and then basically choose the environment that you want to exclude. So we're going to exclude center of excellence so we'll click on it and if we scroll down you'll see that there's excuse from compliance flow so we would toggle that to yes and then we would save and i'm just going to do it one more time environment production locate ex excuse from compliance flow yes save Above and beyond this, as with most of these components, there are a series of flows that do the heavy lifting, so to speak. So what, we go, what we're going to do is we are going to come into our governance components solution. I say that with hesitation because we might have to go into the core components, but let's go with the, the governance components solution. And we're going to click on cloud flows. And we're going to locate some that are prefixed with, in fact, let's just search for the word compliance. Okay, so there's nothing in there. Let's go into our core components. Uh, 
here we go. So if we just expand this out, I'm looking for request complete. If I'm going to change the search to complex, uh, complaints request. Um, complete apps v3, which is already on. In fact, all of these are on. Complete bots v3. Complete custom connector v3. Desktop flows. And then the remaining two we want to look for is Compliance Teams Environment Business Process Flow Kickoff v3, which is on. And then finally, Compliance Details. Uh, detail request and as you can imagine these flows are named quite well that that is going to be if, if uh, as an admin you go in I go I want to request more details around this app or at least that's how I'm interpreting it without looking at it too closely this one is off so we're going to turn it on the next thing you'll want to do because users are going to have to come to this developer Compliance Center app to fill in details if requested to do so, is you'll want to make sure that it's shared with your makers. So the flow successfully turned on. So to share it, all we need to do is we come to our, our apps and make sure we're in the right solution. Come to Developer Compliance Center, click on the three dots, share. And then what we've done, I've done this ahead of time, but we've located our Power Platform Makers Group which is actually associated with the team that we created as well for collaboration amongst makers. And also we can couple that with the Power Platform Maker security role as well. And that will allow the makers to, to access this and fill in details if requested to do so. We've already discussed the additional compliance component environment variables, and that just about covers off what we wanted to discuss in this video. So next video, we'll talk about inactivity processes. Thank you for watching.